Hello everyone, welcome, a little bit of a dreary day today, kind of stormy out, but we're going to make something, I did this, what, last week? Yeah. And we had a chicken casserole that went with this, and what goes with chicken casserole or any chicken really, better than a biscuit. Well, these aren't your traditional biscuits. Came across this on the internet. Thought I'd give it a try. These are so simple, so quick, so easy to do. Takes no time at all. What we're going to start with is I took a whole stick of butter here, melted it. And we're just going to pour it into a little square baking dish. Eight by eight, nine by nine. Just a little square baking dish. Doesn't take a big thing to make. And one of the things I liked about these biscuits is very few dishes to do afterwards. Just very few, really. Now, what we're gonna do here is I need two and a half cups of flour because you're baking you want to get that cup as even as you can. You don't want it over. You don't want it under. And these were really good. I was surprised. Yeah, they were good. And they're not like your traditional biscuit. And they're not like a Bisquick biscuit either. So there, that's five of those, two and a half cups. Now to that, we are going to add four teaspoons of sugar. Four teaspoons of baking powder. I love these baking powder paint cans that you can just scrape it nice <laughs> and even. Yeah. You get it all perfectly even there. And two teaspoons of salt. Oh, and if you're worried about the butter, whether you salted or unsalted, that's totally in your calling. I use salted butter. But if you're somebody that has to watch your salt intake, by all means, use unsalted. Anywho, we're going to get this all combined together here a little bit. You were wondering that night when you came home after I made these how easy this is. Mm -hmm. This is this easy. Now here I have two and a half cups of buttermilk. Is that all in there like that? And you just gotta stir it all together. You could probably do this with an electric mixer. Yeah. But I did this this way the other day when I made these. Yeah. I mean, it took really no time at all doing this. Yeah, you could mix it up by the time you drag the mixer out, I would think. Well, that and, you know, you do that, you're dirtying More the bowl, the mixing blade. And if you're like me, and when you put dry stuff into an electric mixer and you go to turn it on, you've got 90% of it all over the counter, mm. you know. And after all these years living with Dan and having done that enough times, I've 
gotten to the point where I'm tired of cleaning the counter every time I use the mixer. Plus, that's what these bowls, well, are somewhat for that we got at the Fiesta outlet. Yeah. These are like dough mixing bowls or pasta bowls. But that's all you do is you just get this all into a liquid dough like this. This then just comes over here and goes in there. Just right in the butter. Just right in there. Hence the name, Butter Swim Biscuit. Boy, there's some timing, huh? Mm-hmm. Oops, the cat's got it. <laughs> She's on it. We meet our newest member of the family. Her spoiled. Mavis. All right. So, Dog's got competition. Huh? The dog has competition. Of course she does. He does. Once you get this in here, you just take your spatula And you just spread it out like that. Don't get too excited down there. I'm not dripping anymore. Over here it goes. Into a 450 degree oven. For 20 to 25 minutes. Depending upon what your oven does. I did this the last time at 25 minutes. They turned out perfect. We'll be right back. 25 minutes. I'm going to turn the oven off. And that is what you come out with. Hmm. Now it says to before you bake, apparently, cut the unbaked dough. You've seen how runny that dough was. You're going to cut that into nine little separate pieces. This is what you want. This sort of makes it turn into like a cake, almost. Um, I thought of doing many different variations to these with like doing a uh, garlic butter melting it and putting that in and getting that garlic flavor into the biscuits as you're baking them. You probably could even, even though it doesn't say to, you know, mess with adding like garlic, a little bit of garlic powder maybe for garlic flavor, some parsley and some cheddar cheese, do cheddar bay biscuits, whatever, out of that. But with that baking and swimming in the butter like it is, it's heaven. It's just heaven. They are so fluffy and just the perfect thing. Um, yeah, going for a breakfast even with sausage and gravy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These, however, tonight, I think we're going to do for a dessert with some strawberries over top and some whipped cream. So, yeah, give these a try. Like you've seen, very quick, very simple, and done in no time at all. Have a great day. Get out there and enjoy life, and we'll see you in the next video.